All right, this is a video uh, about how to use uh, blend modes, layer blend modes in specific, um, how to combine two blend modes for the double exposure project. Part of the uh, project is that you're going to take two images, similar to what I have here, I have a portrait and I have a landscape that's cut out in the shape of the portrait. And you're going to use uh, blend modes, layer blend modes to combine these. Now, layer blend modes are found right at the top of the menu bar of the blend mode and you'll see a huge list of options. Now, the way blend modes work is that they use part of the image. They can use the value, which is the lights or the darks. They can use the colors. They can use the saturation. They can use any aspect of an image to combine them. So normal, obviously, we'll keep it normal. Dissolve, actually what it does, it almost like it almost looks like it's pixelating wherever the image gets softer in the background. And if you start taking it down uh, and making it lighter, taking away the opacity, uh, you'll see that the pictures start to dissolve almost like granules. Uh, so those two are hardly ever used. But as you go down the next list, uh, and the first word actually gives you a hint of what it does. It's actually using some of the darker values. If you notice the building, the darkest values are in the building. So shadows, those purples, and you see that that's what's actually coming through. And so it's using those things, multiply, same thing. It's taking all the dark values and making them darker, color burn, all the rich colors and the dark values at the same time, linear burn, a lot of the dark values, darker color, same thing, very very similar to darken. Then you have lighten, which obviously you don't see any of the dark tones. A lot of the lighter tones. Screen, you can see all the light parts of each photo. Color dodge, so you can see some of the richer, brighter colors, but you don't see the lighter colors. Similar, very similar linear dodge, lighter colors. You can see pretty much the shape of both, and only a couple of the values are coming out. Overlay seems to be the one that allows both images to come true, come through pretty well. This is soft light, very similar to overlay. Hard light really uh, has a lot of contrast. So a lot of the darks are coming through. Vivid light, a lot of saturation. The colors are more saturated. Linear light, there's still a little, there's still more saturated than normal, but the darks are coming out a lot more. Pin light, hard mix, difference. Now this becomes almost like a negative. Exclusion, very similar to a negative. Subtract, definitely using the opposite values. So all of these are using opposites and then divide. There's a couple more, there's hue, saturation, color, and luminosity. Now, all of these can be used differently. You can also, it also would depend how these would look if you added another image behind it or another value behind it. So these don't just affect each other, it also affects everything else that you add to it.